Hello all. So I'm going to be upgrading this Asus router with Merlin firmware, which is a nice upgrade uh, with a lot more options and features uh, if you have a compatible Asus router. And uh, if if your Asus router is already working for you, there's no need to, to upgrade. It just has more features like if you're running a VPN on your router and things like that, then it, it's a nice thing to have. So I'm going to be installing it. I'm going to go through the steps on how you could do it. And the router I'm going to be doing it on is the RT-AX58U, which is actually the same as the RT-AX300. Um, but the main thing is when you download when you download the firmware is to make sure you get the right version, which I'm going to go through all the steps and show you how to do that. And plugging it in is to be the same way as if you already had it plugged in and using it. It's no different. I got, I got one cable, one Ethernet cable going to... Uh, the local area network ports on the back, any of these local area network ports, LAN ports, and plugged into a laptop, and this is going to a cable modem. Uh, yeah, actually, if you download the file, you wouldn't need to go to uh, a cable modem. You could just log in, but I am going to go and download the files. So I got it plugged into a cable modem, and this plugged into a computer. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the PC. Going to switch over to this laptop, and I'll show you all the steps and how to do it. I'll be right back. So the first step is to log into your Asus router, which you'll need the username and password. Um, you can look at the IP address, but most all of them are going to follow this pattern right here, http colon forward slash forward slash router dot asus dot com, and it'll bring you up to the login page. So I'm going to go and log in here. And okay, so I'm logged in. And right now, here's the firmware version is 3.0. Uh, this is the default Asus firmware and to download uh, the Merlin firmware we need to go to their download page which uh, I'll put the link in the descri description below or you can google it either way and uh, right here on the download page it's going to have uh, the main download site you could also use the mirror but I'm just going to click on the main download site and we're going to scroll down and get our uh, our router firmware version so as you can see right here, I'm using the RTAX58U. And right here it says RTAX58U. So I'm gonna go and click on that. It's important to get the right version, otherwise uh, you could mess up the router. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose release. The beta might be buggy, so I suggest sticking with the release version. So just click on release. And we're going to click on the newest version, which is uh, the top one. And we're just going to let it download. Okay, now that it's done downloading, I'm just going to go to the file that it downloaded in. For me, it's just in downloads. And I'm going to right click on it and extract it. Whatever extraction software you have built into Windows or you have WinZip or whatever, just extract the folder. And there's the Merlin firmware that we're going to write to the router. So go ahead and close out of that and go back to the router main login screen. And down here on the left, go ahead and click on administration. And you have firmware upgrade right here. Go ahead and click on that. And we're going to click right here where it says uh, manual firmware update upload. We want to click on upload. And we're going to direct it to where we unzip that file. And we're going to click on the Merlin file. and it's automatically going to upgrade which takes it a few minutes just let it work through its thing all right so it's almost done and so once it finished now i got to log back in and so i log back in and it's all upgraded so this is the firmware version as you can see right here and right here at the top you'll see powered by asus wrt merlin and you know it's all upgraded so you have all the more advanced features and everything that comes along with that um, if you have any 
questions or anything else, you could ask me down below and I'll try to answer them. And that's basically it.